So we're talking about goals, um, more specifically New Year's resolutions. Um, so we're in December now, uh, so obviously you're getting towards the beginning of the year into 2018. Um, and a lot of you guys might be setting some fitness goals or just type of goals in general. And uh, many studies have proven that 92% of people will fail at their New Year's resolution by the end of February. And why is that? And it's probably because your goals suck. Um, not necessarily the goal you're trying to achieve, but the way you're trying to achieve that goal. Okay, so you're not planning accordingly. And so what you want to think about doing is making a SMART goal. Now, I'm not talking about intelligence. I'm talking about the acronym SMART. So your goal should be specific, measurable, attainable, results focused, and time bound. So let's use the example of I want to lose weight. This is a pretty common thing I might hear when somebody comes in. I want to lose weight. Great. But it's not really SMART. Other than in my, it's just kind of particular specific. It's not necessarily measurable or attainable or so on and so forth. So let's maybe take a step further. I want to lose 20 pounds. So now we're starting to get somewhere. So now it's specific, it's measurable, you're wanting to lose 20 pounds. Um, it's results focused, okay? But we're still missing some pieces here. So next could be, I want to lose 20 pounds by May. Now we have the time bound piece. It's definitely attainable. You're looking at about a pound roughly a week through May. Great, so we now we have a SMART goal, but it's still not quite good enough. We need to make an emotional attachment to this goal. So what does that look like? So let's say we want to lose 20 pounds by May because my daughter's wedding's then and I want to look good in my tux. Or my doctor said if I don't lose 20 pounds by the end of this year, that I'm running the risk of having a heart attack. Whatever it may be, you need to have some type of emotional attachment to this piece. Because when things become starting to get a little harder to try to achieve this goal, then you need to have that why to come back to and fall back on and know why you're doing this. Instead of saying, I just want to lose weight, and you really have no reason to, or you don't have a why. So that's the very first thing, is making a SMART goal, and then you have an emotional attachment to that piece. But in part number two, we're going to talk about why this still isn't a complete goal. So stick around, watch goal number two.